Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So this is video 22 in the series, and this is a video on how to install and configure RDS server, which is also known as the Remote Desktop Services Server. So we're gonna be installing this role on this machine, Win22 RDS. I already built that out. I joined it to my domain. I got all that preliminary stuff done. And what kind of installation we're gonna be doing today is Quick start install. We're going to be going through that. I want to walk you through it. And then we're going to have to like reboot a few times. And then we're going to actually test the, the, the web app, the RDP app. And then we're going to actually remote into this server from our Windows 11 machine so we can, you know, look and see the connections and how you monitor and manage that. All right. So let's go ahead, you know. You know the drill. Please like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, you know the drill. So let's get into it. So first things first, this is my server, right? So on this server, what we're going to do is go to Manage, Add Roles and Features. We'll bring this over. So we're going to go ahead and hit Next. Here, we're going to be installing Remote Desktop Services Installation. So this is the second option. Go ahead and hit next. And here we have standard deployment and quick deployment. What is the difference? Obviously, the first one is a standard deployment allows you to deploy remote desktop services across multiple servers, all right? So in this case, this is a lab. We're gonna have everything on one single server. So we're gonna do the quick start. You must log in as a domain admin. What? You must, log you must be logged in as a domain user to use I am logged in as, how am I logged in as? Let's look at that. Oh, all right. So that's a good, good catch. And I wanna leave that in the video, right? I wanna leave that in the video. So let's go ahead and log out. So we have to log into the domain. I'm glad that happened, you know? So let's go ahead and just do control delete again. Other user. And then we're gonna do backslash. I'm just gonna do at infosec at dot com. All right, so we'll log in. I'm actually glad we got that error because things happen, right? Things happen, so glad we got it. Obviously, it's gonna you know tack on an extra minute or so, but another minute or so never hurt nobody. So let's go ahead and go back to manage, add features, add roles and features. Next. Now we're gonna go see if we are allowed to do this. Next, quick install, a quick start. Next, okay, cool, we're able to do that. So here we're gonna go ahead and do session base desktop deployment, okay? Go ahead and hit next. So here we have our server. So like I said, I built the server before the video, going to the domain, gave it an IP address and all that good stuff. So you can install this on a, you know, on a server that you already have pre-built, but I like, to, I'm a little OCD and anal with a few things. So I'd like to have, okay, like this is an RDS server. I want to have it as, on an RDS server, right? So I want to click the only server that I have in my server pool. So go ahead and hit next here. And we'll give that a moment. So now with the following services, this is going to be installed on this server, right? We're going to be installing the RD remote desktop connection broker, remote desktop web access, remote desktop session host. This is pretty much replaced like terminal services back in the day in Windows 2003 server, All right? So we have to click on restart the destination server automatically is required, and then we can click on deploy. Okay, so this is gonna go do its thing and 
once this process is done, this is going to go ahead and reboot the server. And once the, the server is rebooted, you know, you should be good. So while this does its thing, let's go ahead and I'll, I'll show you what I did in the back end on the domain controller and all that stuff. Do full screen. Okay. Now we're going to jump on our domain controller. So in DNS, obviously, we have everything 106. We have the pointer record. And you can see the DNS record in the RDS. And in Active Directory, you guys should know this by now, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna convey this and let you guys know just because we have a few minutes to to kill. So once I join a computer to the domain, it's always good to have your active directory in order, organized, because I've seen some AD infrastructures, AD networks in the real world that look like a disaster, right? So I like to have, like I said, I'm OCD, so I like to have it nice and clean. So once you join a computer to a domain, it goes into a computer's container, right? This is a container, it's not an OU. And then I have servers OU down here. Remember from the WSUS video, I created that uh, OU and I put Win22 FSO1 in there so we can test that. Okay, in servers, I threw the RDS server in this OU, just in case we have to apply any group policies at the OU level of servers, it takes it. But by default, you guys should know, it's going to take the default domain policy. So that's what we changed. We changed a few things on there, like disabling the, disabling the firewall and, and whatever else we did. I don't recall because this is like video 22. I don't, I don't remember if that was like video below 10. I don't remember. I barely remember what I ate for dinner tonight. All right. So this is just, you know, some, some, some back, some background stuff that I've been doing in this infrastructure. So, you know, I don't leave you guys in the dark. All right. So obviously that was so quick. It's, it restarted. Once we reboot, we're going to go ahead and log back into this machine. And once we log back in the machine, it's going to continue the process of the RDS role. And once that is all done, we should see that in server manager. And then we can go ahead and continue that process and see everything that is configured and installed. Right. So let this apply the computer settings. Give this a moment and uh, it should should be pretty quick. Now it's applying, you know, the group policy that's applied to the domain. It's configuring all the services, you know. This is this is what it's all about. We'll give that a few moments. While that's cooking, I want to get my Windows 11 machine set up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and we're going to be using Val. If you guys aren't familiar who Val is, Val is Valentina is my daughter. So a lot of these a lot of these users uh, are actually people either in my family or friends of mine. So I don't pick random people. I try not to, at least just for the simple fact that I know these people so I, I can remember the, the usernames and everything. Obviously, I don't remember like who I assign to cyber team, who I assign to the HR team. Usually HR is like mostly female. So I think it was like Beth, Valentina. Uh, I don't remember who else, right? But anyhow, now we have um, logged into here. So I want to go ahead and open up remote desktop. And I want to go ahead and pin this to the start. So I want to go ahead and pin this. Also, I want to pin it here into the taskbar. Okay. So just so when we're ready, we can RDP to that RDS server, right? Go check it out and see. I guess it's still applying no settings. So we'll give that a few more moments. See what else we can do in the meantime. Let's just, uh, yeah. So anyhow, you know, I, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Like I always say, I probably say this in every video, but it just motivates me to make more videos and more playlists and just more content because awesome comments I get like, you know, it's useful the way I explain it. 
literally like the way I explain what I'm showing you or what I'm teaching or whatever is the way I learn, right? So I want to show you guys the easiest way it is to digest and the easiest way it is to configure or show, you know? So, okay, enough of my spiel. So now let's go ahead and log back in. So I'm going to log in as administrator at InfoSec Pat. Okay, so once this logs back in, we can continue the configuration of the RDS. So let that do its thing. Give that a moment, add it here. It should populate, yeah, there you go. So once this config finishes configuring the remote desktop services role, then it's gonna do the uh, session collection and then the remote app programs. And by default, I believe it does like calculator, uh, Word, WordPad, and I believe it's Paint, I think. Uh, in Windows Server 2022, it may change, but I think in 2019 when I set this up, I think it's in my 2019 playlist, I think. I don't remember. I did uh, so many videos in there. And, you know, some of it's going to overlap, to be honest. And there's stuff that I may be doing in this series or this playlist that I didn't do in the other and vice versa. And I want to explain why. So I was getting a lot of comments on the playlist that I did in 2019. A lot of positive, good stuff. But I ran that. I ran that. Uh, good, this is done. I ran that lab on my desktop that I have like 128 gigs of RAM at that time. It was a, it's a beast of a desktop, right? And not everyone has that, you know, that setup, right? So in this series, I wanted to use VirtualBox, which is free. The other one, I think I believe I did Workstation Pro for VMware. Some people can't afford VMware, right? So I wanted to make it as simple and free 99 as possible, right? So this is why I'm doing this in VirtualBox and whatever I can do that it's free, I'm gonna do, right? So. All right, enough of that spiel. <clears throat> so what we have here, so if we want to connect to the RD web app uh, access, what we're going to be going to is https colon colon win22rds.infosecpat.com slash RD web. So let's go ahead and just click on that. See if this works. That's fine. I want to go ahead and copy this really quick. So that's fine from for now. Like I don't really care about that at the moment. This is not what it's about. It's more about the sessions on the RDP. So let's we'll, 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 we will test that, but if it doesn't work, it, it's fine. So we're going to be looking at the connections here to make sure when we RDP from Val's machine to the server, we get you know Val that pops up here. So yeah, let's see the remote apps. So yeah. So it's calculator, paint, and still it's the same, those three. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the uh, Windows 11 machine and test RDP. All right, let's go ahead and let's log in. Here it's gonna be uh, remote desktop services, RDS, okay. And then I want to look, I want to log in as Val. Okay. We'll give that a moment. Val's an established connection. All right. So we're good here. All right. So we can go to browse out to desktop. Uh, excuse me, this PC, you know, we got Val's, everything with Val, users, Val, blah, blah, blah. And we also, we can see the network drive, the home drive, Val's testing. So we can still, everything, because we have the roaming profiles, we have a home folder, we have everything that's roaming with Val. So let's minimize this. Let's, min let's go back to the RDS server. And 
we see only administrator here. Let's go ahead and go to task and refresh. And now we see Val. Okay. So this is, I believe it's 120 days you can tinker with this. But if we go over to servers and overview, we can see RD gateway. This is beyond this video, but we have remote desktop gateway and then RD licensing. So obviously if you have the licensing, you can you know click on this, create the license and blah, blah, blah. We can add that in. You know, that's like I said, this that's beyond this, this video. I'll probably get like a little message at some point asking to add licensing. But if you get that, that's fine. So that pretty much concludes the video. So let's go check and see if we can see these apps. Let's go back here really quick. Let's go back to Windows 11, just for testing purposes. If it works, it works, cool. But this, you know, it's a little out of the scope of this video. I just wanted to show you guys how to set up RDS. But let's go ahead and go open up Edge. And let's go, let me go ahead and uh, copy this link. Let's throw this in here. All right, let's hit enter. Can't be reached. I uh, wonder why. I'm not going to go ahead and troubleshoot that. This is, like I said, this is beyond the, the scope of this video. Uh, what we wanted to do is just install the RDS, uh, the RDS machine, the role, get it all configured, and yeah. So that's pretty much concludes the video. And let's see if we uh, refresh this and still see Val. We can kick Val out. We can send her a message. Get off my server, the server, my server. And let's see, let's go back to there. Let's see if it's actually, uh, <laughs> get off my server, the administrator sent you. So, okay. All right, dad, I want to go ahead and uh, disconnect. Okay. And now let's go ahead and go back and see if we refresh this. It's disconnected now. Perfect. Awesome. So that concludes this video. Like I said, please like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. And until the next video, have a beautiful day. And I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Thank you.